Okay, sixth grade, lesson 24. This is on adding and subtracting fractions that have common denominators, okay? Let's just do a quick review. You should have learned this last year. But just in case, let's do a quick review, okay? Let me show you what this would look like. Okay, let's do the illustrative way first before we do the mathematical way. Okay, this would be like one of the fours, one out of four, plus another one out of four, plus another one out of four, right? So that would be three fourths. Yes, so what you wanna do is you wanna, let's take this one piece here and bring it over here, okay? And let's take this one piece here and bring it here, and it ends up being three out of four. You're exactly right, okay? That's the um, illustrative way, but the mathematical way is you just add the numerators. One plus one plus one equals three, and whatever the bottom number is, as long as it's the same, just moves. you just move it over, okay? You got it? Let's do, let's do another one, okay? What is one half plus a half? Uh, one whole. Yes, but let's figure it out. Two over two. That would be one half. One half, which let's bring this over, which would make one whole, but let's do it the mathematical way. One plus one is two, and then you slide the two over. Two out of two is one whole. Got it? Uh-huh. Do you understand it? Okay, let's do it a little bit harder. Three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths, plus three-fourths. Let's do it the mathematical way. Tell me what your answer is gonna be. Mathematical. Oh, um, 12. 12 Fourth. over four. Very good. Wait, that would be And you can, one. you can take and do this 12 divided by four, and our final answer is gonna be three whole. Really? Yep, okay, because 12, Divided by four yeah. is three. Twelve divided by four is three. Okay, now let's do this the illustrative way so it makes sense. Okay? One, two, three out of four. One, two, three out of four. One, two, three out of four. And last one, one, two, three out of four. So, let's take and try to add all these together. One, two, three, and I'm going to take this fourth one and bring it over here. So I have one, two, three, three. plus I'm going to bring this piece over here, and that makes a four, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's take one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. I took those pieces and put them in this one, right? Okay, last one. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So, I have or 12 you slices. Count, or you could count each of the shaded parts out of all of them. Right, which would be 12, and then because there's four slices in each one, right? Mm -hmm. So 12 out of four. Which equals how many holes? Three holes. Three holes. You see how that makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, let's do, let's just do a few subtraction. 7 eighths minus 2 eighths. Okay, let's do eighths. We haven't done that one yet. There's eight. And let's fill in seven out of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of eight. So I had seven out of eight slices of pizza that were still sitting here. And I want to take away two, two. eighths. So, so I'm going to take away two of them. Five one, two, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. Five eighths. So that's the illustrative way, right? But the mathematical way is just to do the numerators. The top number, 7 minus 2, is 5, and you just slide that same number over. Yep. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, what are you going to do when you have something like this? Um, I don't know. Okay, so if I have a half, and I take away it be zero a half, we would have nothing. So it would be 0 over 2, but you just say 0. Okay? And that is lesson 24.